Children and adults with special needs almost couldn't take the field today to pay, play baseball. Good evening, I'm Joel Hill and Thieves. Stole about $10,000 worth of gear from the Miracle League of Denver, but just like any Colorado community, they came together to make sure they had what they needed. Our Michael Abeto was at the fields in Lakewood today with the team as they received a lot of support, Michael. Ted Joel, baseball has been called America's pastime, and that's definitely true for the people who play in the Miracle League. They look forward to their game every week, but some people tried to make sure that they weren't going to get that game this week, but the community came together to make sure that they did. Let's play ball. There are a lot of things playing a sport like baseball can teach you. Do the awesome thing and do the best thing. And you have good manners. And great matters, no matter what happens, no matter what people say, you've got to do the right thing. At least that's the case for Matt and Dylan, who play for the All Stars team in the Miracle League of Metro Denver. We like it, it's pretty yeah. cool. Fair bomb. It's a league for players with special needs, and for most of them, game day is what they wait for all week. They look forward to it like nothing else in their, in their schedules. But not everyone in this world has learned the value of hard work and honesty like Dylan and Matt. Just last weekend, the league was the victim of some selfish behavior. Uh, somebody broke into our trailer. They took the concessions, they took the first aid kit, the bats, the balls, all the things that we really need. They're all donated by the community. Foul ball. They even took the PA system they used to call the games. There's a black cloud, but behind every black cloud, there's sunshine. Are you serious? The community rallied behind the league and started showing up Saturday to donate what they could. Helmets, balls, and bats. The kids on the field had really no hiccup in what was going to happen to play ball today. Then between games came the biggest surprise. What? Great. It's like cool beans in the truck. Dick Sporting Goods showed up with a truck full of gear. Everybody really wants to get engaged and um, want to say thank you to all those folks. The league has since gotten their trailer fixed with stronger reinforced locks and is looking to build a structure to store all their new gear in permanently. That way they can rest assured everything will be safe at home. Now the league has gotten lots of donations of gear, lots of donations of concessions that they can sell, and donations of money. But what they really need is donations of first aid kits and medical supplies in case something goes wrong when they're out here on the diamond. If you'd like to help, go to cbsdenver.com. We'll post a link to their website. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.